His love of community is such an integral part of who he is. Roy was born in Brooklyn and is the youngest of four children. He always had a love of sports and played throughout his life. At Duke University, he was a member of the varsity basketball team, notwithstanding his two-handed set shot. He was also a great team player and defensive stopper. Roy moved to Montreal in 1960, and three short years later, began his decades-long involvement in community. He began as the athletic committee chairman of the Davis Y, and it accelerated from there. It was always very important to Roy that he stay active, and we all were the better for it. His many accomplishments with the Y include honorary president, originator of Heart and Health Month program, founder of the Y Hall of Fame, and inducted into it for basketball in 1995. It was Roy who secured the $3 million donation from Ben Weeder, and that led to the Y's redevelopment. Of course, he's also a member of the Davis Y Championship basketball team. Speaking of basketball, this sport in which he so enjoyed and excelled led Roy to his future involvement and leadership roles within the Maccabea movement. In 1969, he was a member of Canada's basketball team at the 8th Maccabea Games. He describes marching into the Ramatgan Stadium for the opening ceremony as a moment in his life as so personally significant, and certainly as an inspiration for his future involvement with the organization so dear to his heart. Roy was instrumental in expanding Maccabi Canada to the national level it enjoys today. His roles with Maccabia are too numerous to list, but include President of Maccabi Canada, Chairman of the North American Federation of the Maccabee World Union. He is currently the honorary co-president of the 19th Maccabee Games. Roy's enthusiasm, caring, and devotion are exceptional, and many call him Mr. Maccabee. Roy, you have made a tremendous impact on so many lives, especially helping young Jewish athletes to connect with their heritage. Roy also played slow pitch in Coat St. Luke and in several world slow pitch championships. I first met Roy in 1961 when we were playing in the Coat St. Luke League and saw firsthand the special person that Roy is. Most of us wanted to play on packed teams because it was quite competitive. Not Roy. He was loyal to his mediocre team all the many years, even though he was one of the best two or three players in the entire league. Roy can be seen regularly at the Y in the mornings to exercise and schmooze with his many buddies. He and I have played on many teams together over the years and golf regularly. We would tee off early in the mornings, Roy, Mo Ross and myself. And they were the ones who got me into canoeing. And that's a private joke. So thanks, guys. <coughs> One time we were in Florida playing golf with Mark Rutenberg and Jacques Demers. We teed off on the 17th hole, the par 3 island green. We all hit our shots. And when we got to the green, we only saw three balls. We finally looked in the hole and saw Jacques' ball. Even though Mark arranged for the club to give Jacques a hole-in-one plaque, we always hinted to Jacques that we threw the ball in the hole. So now, Senator, we can officially confirm that you really hit the ball. Roy, it's my great pleasure to present with this honor, which you richly deserve. Please join me at the podium. Thank you.
award presented to Roy Solomon for his outstanding contribution to the sports world in both Canada and Israel and in recognition of his leadership, dedication and service to the community. Guest of Honor, Cummings Jewish Centre for Seniors Foundation Sports Celebrity Breakfast, April 14, 2013. celebrities. The room is replete with a lot of celebrity and we're very, very honored. But we have two other celebrities today. They're community celebrities. Roy, of course, as you've heard, who has done a yeoman's job for the Y and the Maccabee Games, has earlier this year been presented with the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Award. And yes, thank you. And for his lifetime commitment to improving the life of seniors and making their lives really enhanced with independence and self-respect, Herb Finkelberg, who was awarded the Queen's Diamond Jubilee by the Minister of Seniors, Alice Wong, earlier this year. I'm going to call upon the Honourable Lawrence Bergman, the Honourable Bernie Cotler, and Consul General Joelle Young to help with the presentation.